to change the text of such a titles or subtitle like this into a different language, we need to look at the Fucus directory. Inside Fucus folder, language folder, there is a file named en file. It's a JSON file if you look at the file type. Opening the file in a notepad, and you will see something like this. This is called as JSON data. This JSON data is used by Fucus in this interface to show the title and subtitle visible to us. The data, text inside the double quote in the left, is key, and its value in the right inside double quote. If we take the example of this title, negative prompt, and search in the JSON file, you will find a similar key in the file with its value. Fucus will search for the text he should display with the help of key in the entire file. Fucus will then display value in the interface for us, which also means if we change the value, it will be reflected in the interface. For example, I will write a word, change. It should be visible here. I will save the file and start Fucus again. Okay, actually this file, this EN file, is not being used by Fucus right now. Fucus is using its default English text right now. We need to inform Fucus to start using this file. To do so, we need to go to the main folder of Fucus. The Windows batch file we use to start Fucus application. Open it with a notepad. You will find some instructions. We just need to add one more instruction about using the language file we edited just now. This instruction can be added by double hyphen language, then file name after a space. Note that the file name en refers to English. You should create different files for different languages to keep things clean. After saving the edited file, I will stop the running instance of Fucus by Control plus C and start the Fucus application again. You will see the newly added instruction here. The edited JSON value has been used by Fucus now. To convert multiple values, we can use ChatGPT or Blackbox AI. I will copy the JSON data and ask GPT to change the value of this JSON data into Chinese text. The key on the left should not be changed. Fucus only knows about the key. It won't check the value is, it will display whatever the value is. I will copy the results, without the curly brackets, just the key value JSON data, and paste it in our language file. Save the file and stop the Fucus application. So, now it stopped. I will start again to check the changes. Let's see what content should have changed. Input image should have changed into Chinese text. It was not working at this point because I made a mistake. I found the mistake after 15 minutes. In JSON data, there must be a comma after the value and the last entry should not have a comma. Saved the file and restarted the Fucus application. The input image text changed with Chinese text. I don't know if it's correct, but this is how you can change. I will try the Hindi language, which I can understand. In this example, I showed editing in an English language file. Please copy paste the English file, rename it something like CN for Chinese, and then start working on it. Also, you need to instruct Fucus to use the language file by specifying its name in other batch file like anime or realistic. 